This is the SH Figure Arts Michael Jackson. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, why would they make an action figure of Michael Jackson, of all people? Well, why not? Michael Jackson is one of the most famous artists in history. If you really think about it, an action figure of Michael Jackson kind of makes a lot of sense. I mean, he's known for some very iconic poses, which can only be accomplished like this. Do I really have to tell you who Michael Jackson is? I mean, come on, you know who Michael Jackson is. And if you don't, you're fucking lying, like Papa. Michael Jackson is simply one of the most famous people in the entire world, even after his death. The man could not walk two feet without dropping a fire song. Instant classic after instant classic. Like, dude, no one could touch this man. And to this day, no one ever has. He's the king of pop for a reason. His performances have yet to be topped to this very day. Live dancing and vocals? Like, Jesus Christ, could this man not be any more goaded? I have a DVD of Michael Jackson's live performance in Bucharest. I've had this shit since I was five years old and goddamn, this is the best thing I've ever seen. I've rewatched this DVD about like a hundred thousand times. So you could imagine I was pretty surprised to find out that he actually has a posable action figure. Made by Tamashi Nation's SH Figure Arts. I have wanted this figure for years. Hey, I like Michael Jackson and I collect action figures. It seems like a pretty good deal to me. So let's take a- Well, here he is, the figure arts Michael Jackson in the flesh. Look at the front of that box. Or actually, this is technically the back of the box. The front of the box is is, is this is this side. <laughs> yeah, this is actually the front of the box. It's got all the company logos and shit. A very shiny silhouette of Michael Jackson and the fake signature. Michael Jackson on every side, just in case you forgot who the figure was. So yeah, this side with the promotional images and the actual figure itself is actually the back of the box. That is the first time I've ever seen that done. Uh, I can't say I hate it, because I'm going to open them. There goes my resale value. Two things to keep in mind. This is Michael Jackson when he was going through his transitional phase. Also, this is an older figure arts, so the quality, the likeness specifically, isn't going to be as good as some of the more recent stuff. There's a little cover so his hat doesn't scrape against his head. That was so thoughtful of them. If only he wore this during the Pepsi commercial. So remember when I said the likeness wasn't as good as recent figures? Uh, no. No, this looks pretty damn good. Maybe next to a picture it's not 100% accurate, but this is clearly MJ. You can tell it's MJ, it's MJ, okay? Like, come on, man, you look at this face and tell me you can't hear. Hello, guys. My name is Michael Jackson. What is this anime you speak of? Gotta love the strands of hair coming down the side of his face. On this side, it looks like they just gave up. That is just painted on there. But at least the rest of the hair looks really good. They even got his hair tied up in the back. And yes, this is articulated. It's also ball jointed for a reason, but we'll get to that later. Now, we all know in the Smooth Criminal Music video, Michael had probably the best suit in existence. My brother had drip before the term even existed. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but... I know a thing or two about drip myself. <laughs> the painting and especially the sculpt on this suit is absolutely fantastic. All of the details are there, right down to the suspenders and the buttons on his shirt. Not only is his tie articulated, it has a different texture than the rest of the suit. Which, by the way, looks really good, man. This figure's just so beautiful. And this suit isn't just some flat white. It's a pearlescent white, you can see as the light hits it, it's more of like a glittery plastic. And there's his signature armband, to remind people of all the children suffering in the world. I mean, he's a better man than me, you know me, you know, fuck them kids. Oh, yeah, he's young, but I, can you? I grew up with you, bro. I grew up with Spider Criminal, I used to watch the fucking first video Dang. he made in his mom's closet. Every What's your problem, day, bro? It's the whole reason I got this. The shirt, the wrinkles, all the way down to the cuffed pants, and there's his iconic loafer shoes. There's even some black shading on the side of the spats. The ball joint's painted blue to match his blue socks. They even got the tape on his fingers. They missed no detail with this figure. The figure comes with these open hands straight out of the box, but besides that, it comes with quite a bit. Some hands, a head, a dismembered torso, a base, and... An extra pair of shoes. Oh, and his fedora. 
He comes with five right hands and only two left hands. He's got this pinching hand in order to hold onto his hat. He's got a pointing hand. And then he's got a relaxed hand, you know? It's, it's just a relaxed hand. I mean, I guess you can have him grab his crotch. <laughs> He's got another relaxed hand, this time for his left arm. Do whatever you want, bro. Make him a shitty anime protagonist or something. He's got a hand for this gesture he makes when he dances. She. And then he's got a pair of... Thwippers! Wow, hey, look, this review wasn't random. Look, see, I'm still a Spider-Man channel. And here's his iconic fedora. It's got that same sparkly kind of plastic the rest of the figure's made out of. And you pretty much just put it on his head. Yeah, that's literally it. And guess what? It actually stays on really good. And then he's got this extra smiling head, which, uh, you know, it, lo it looks okay. I mean, I like the original one better, but... You know, this is definitely a head. To put this on, you gotta swap the ponytails. And there you go. And he has this extra torso piece with his arms up in the air. And to put this on, you gotta take off the torso from the Michael Jackson figure and pop this in its place. And uh, I just noticed the paint doesn't really match because this figure's so old. It seems it's been left in the sun for too long. And then from the torso you just took off from the Michael Jackson, you gotta take off the tie and put it on this new torso. And then after that, you gotta take off the arms from the forearm down and then plug them in. Be careful though, this figure is very stiff. And then finally you put on the head. And I can't lie, the results are really cool. He looks great. And then he's got his extra pair of shoes. These are permanently bent forward and there's a good reason for that. Because out of the box, the figure comes with this really cool Michael Jackson base. And it's in the shape of his silhouette when he's doing the anti-gravity lean. And oh look, there's peg holes. This must be a base for the figure. Well, you'd be correct. In fact, this thing actually helps him do the anti-gravity lean. Those extra shoes I showed earlier actually have holes in them. So obviously we gotta swap the feet. I mean, just get a little tug on the- Oh! Oh shit, well, apparently the sock part is a separate piece, so uh try not to lose that it's very fucking stiff and i'm so scared but after you get him in you're now ready to put the feet on the base and there he is he's doing the anti-gravity lean such an awesome accessory to recreate that iconic pose and you just look so cool doing it aqua you do it Michael's hair is on a ball joint, so it's not going to get in the way of his head articulation, which moves very well. He even has another joint at the base of the neck. Oh yeah, get it, dude. His arms, while they move very well outward, moving forward, it's kind of difficult. Like, you can't have him touch his own chest because it won't go in far enough. Single jointed elbows, rotation, the wrist ball joint, a very good torso joint, and a joint at his waist. And combined, he can crunch forward a lot. His hips are very limited. There's no drop down hips for one thing. He can't kick up higher than this, which is such a shame because Michael Jackson throws some very high kicks. This part is kind of disappointing. He does have a swivel up there though, and his knees bend in quite a bit. He's got really cool ankle joints that go up all the way, down all the way, and he's got a toe joint. With this articulation, you can get Michael in pretty much any one of his iconic poses. The figure's always gonna look awesome no matter what you do with them. I mean, it's so cool, man. Like, he makes me wanna fucking dance. Did you tell me this was over? This is an SH figure art, so he's a little shorter than he should be. Here he is next to Stan Lee. Yes, these two have met. Look at this legendary picture, bro. Oh yes, Michael is a Marvel fan. He was such a fan, in fact, that he talked to Stan Lee about starring as Peter Parker in a movie. And then when Stan Lee said no, Michael did the only logical thing and decided to just buy Marvel Comics. He tried to buy all of Marvel Comics! I love Michael. I really do. But I think we're all happy that didn't happen. Anyway, Stan Lee's too big, but you know, these are separate lines. That was kind of expected. By the way, this figure can't stand for shit. And I kinda don't know who else to compare him to, so... This is Spider-Man. This is Sonic. Oh shit, yeah, Sonic! Dude, Michael Jackson is a Sonic fan too. He even made some of the music for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, ain't that fucking crazy? And then why not, here he is next to my Figma Aqua. And that's pretty much it, I mean, there's no one really to compare him to. Who's on Kibutsuji? I found him. No matter where you go, I promise you won't escape me! You can run as far as you want, 
I'll follow you to the ends of hell! And my blade will be the last thing you see! I'll never forgive you for what you've done! Total concentration! Water breathing! First form! Water surface slash! You've been hit by a smooth criminal. <laughs> I think you know how I feel about this figure. I mean, I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan myself. Ah, fuck. So of course I had lots of fun posing this figure. He's an oldie, but a goodie. I love this figure. I love Michael Jackson. He's the reason my channel name is Spider Criminal, in case you didn't know. If you want this figure, uh, you're kind of out of luck. He is a little expensive now. And be careful because there are bootlegs of this figure, which look, you know, like bootlegs. I was lucky enough to get mine from my good friend, Zombie Shrimp on Instagram. Fucking asshole. If you're at all a fan of Michael Jackson, you gotta get this figure. I mean, you can get him in pretty much any one of his iconic poses. He looks great with the accessories. He looks great beating the shit out of Tanjiro. I don't do ratings anymore, but this is easily a 10 out of 10 for me. Michael Jackson will forever be the GOAT, and so will this figure. I'M NOT DONE WITH YOU, COWARD! TURN AND FACE ME! How many Michael songs did I use in this video? No, oh, okay, that's a pretty decent amount. I'm pretty sure I forgot one, though. You've had your fun, but you can't run from your destiny. <laughs> <laughs>